react. Okay, so this problem, you can split it up as root 8 over root 50. Mm -hmm. um, and this is the harder way to do it for sure. So we'll, we'll just do it this way, and there's an easier way. A little bit easier. So well, what did you do from here? I did the square root of 8. All right, which is what? 2 root 2. All right, then what? And then I did the square root of 50. Which is what? 5 root 5. That's not right. Because we go 50. Oh my god, I know what I did wrong. 2 and 25 and 5 and I 5. I did 5 and 25. Ah, so wait, so from here, what, what is going to be the square root of 50? Take out the 5, be 5 root 2. Yeah. And then you'd be able to cancel out the 2 roots. Oh, okay, so you're right. And then it'd be 2 fifths. Yeah. But they're not always going to work out that way. Okay. So let's do... So from here, I think a little bit easier would have been you have 8 over 8 over 50. You can just reduce this fraction, like just reduce 8 over 50. What's 8 over 50? Cut um, it in half. 4 over 10. Cut, well, just, yeah, just cut the top and bottom in half. Yeah, 4 over 25. So 4 over 25. All right, so that becomes the square root of 4, or I guess technically it's root 4 over 25, which is the same exact thing as the square root of 4 over the square root of 25. And then look, this actually works out beautifully. What's the square root of 4? 2 and 5. So it's 2 over 5. But sometimes they still don't work out that well. I guess we're going to come across them anyway, so I'll show you the next problem. Okay. All right. So how do we deal with this? We do the square root of 6 and the square root of 25. Seven. All right, so we're going to split it up. The square root of 6 over the square root of 27. We could do something that will save us a little bit of work and see if like there's something that can go into both. If we can chop down what's in here. Sometimes that helps a lot. So let's just think about the number 6 over 27. Is there a number that can go into both? Yeah. What? 3. So divide by 3. Divide by 3. What's 6 divided by 3? 2. 27 divided by 3? 7. 9. 9. So then you have, and see how that's like a perfect square. So then you end up with the square root of 2 over, do you see that? Because our answer is like that, right? Yeah. Which, which reduces to the square root of 2 over the square root of 9, which is, I'll find an answer of what? 3. 2 root, root 2 over 3. Root 2 over 3, okay. Root. Root 6 and root 50. I'm trying to think if they have anything in common. They have a 2 in common, so it would be, it would be 3 over 25. Right, so since since um, they're both even, you can kind of chop them down in half, right? Mm -hmm. So it would be root 3 over 25, which is the same thing as what? Root 3 over 5. Or that, and then which is that, right? That's what you meant. Okay. Root 8 and root 18. But All right. I'm trying to think they have a 2 in common. All right, so we can divide both, both in half. Mm -hmm. So be 4 over 9. So root 4 over 9, which is? 2. Oh, it's 2. Do your split, and then it becomes what? 2 over 3. 2 over 3. All right, what do we do? First, what do they have in common? They have a five in common. All right, so what are we going to do? Divide each by five. So All right, so. Square root four Okay. square root nine. All right, so five goes into 24 times, five goes into 45 nine times, and that becomes the square root of four over the square root of nine, which becomes? Two over three. Two over three. Okay. Um. What do they have in common? They have a 2 in common, so it's going to be root 15 over root 4. Root 15 over root 4. All right. And then that will sim that doesn't simplify root 15. That does not. What about the bottom? It's 2. 2. 